I'm back again, and today I am doing the fifth, fifth, uh, 15 random t facts tag. I was tagged from lit within, lit from within. I can't speak today. I'm going to link her down there. So I um, yeah, I've done one of these kind of random tags before um, a little while ago, um, but I was tagged, and I don't get tagged very often, so I thought I'd do it. So I wrote 15 random-ish things down. So, number one, I am actually a jewellery maker and chain mailer, um, which most people probably don't know because I haven't really done any of that stuff on this particular channel. Um, yeah, but I used to sell jewellery online. Um, I still do sell jewellery sometimes, just not as much as I did before. Number two, I make miniatures. I love tiny things. Probably why I have so much mini stuff, um, but I really like little tiny things. I actually make necklaces for Barbie dolls, which, you know, they're like this big. Um, and also like micromail and um, making like miniature food and stuff like that. And tied to that is number three, which is I'm building a doll house. It's currently up on top of a cupboard like right there, because um, I have a habit of starting things and then getting distracted. Go figure. Um, I'm obsessed with fashion dolls, like Barbie, um, Monster High, those kind of things. I actually customise them, uh, repaint them, make clothes for them. Not as much as I was before, but I, I'm going to get back into it. I, w I, I promise I will. Number five. My father passed away two days after 9-11. Um, no, he was not because of that. It just happened to be that the last time I saw him alive was on 9-11 or the 11th of September in Australia and he passed away on the 13th of September um, in the same year. So that's how I remember that. Um, number six, I dislike beige. I do not like beige. I find beige incredibly boring. Um, the house I'm living, that we live in, has beige walls which we will be painting because I don't like beige and neither does my mum. Number seven, I used to play, this was a really long one, I used to play badminton, tennis and soccer. I also did javelin, discus and shot put and I used to competitively swim. Not that you'd know it looking at me at the moment. Uh, number eight, I have successfully completed three NaNoWriMo's, which for you who do not know, that is the National Novel, Novel Writers Month, which is November of every year, and you write a 50,000 word novel in one month, which doesn't really sound like much, but actually it's a lot harder than it sounds. But I've managed to do it three times and be successful three times. Number nine, I have never met my father's siblings. I have spoken to my aunt on the phone, um, but I have never actually met them at all. Number 10, I love numbers. I'm that really annoying kid that you went to school with who liked mathematics. I love mathematics. I love the patterns in numbers. Um, my great-grandfather was a mathematical genius, and my grandfather was an accountant, and my grandmother was a bookkeeper. So numbers are kind of big for us. Number 11, I don't like thrillers and horror movies and any anything that's designed to scare you, I do not like. So I will avoid watching, reading, doing anything with those kind of things. Number 12. I got pregnant at 19 with twins. Yes, I have two 19 year old boys. I was actually 20 when I gave birth to them, birth to them but I was only 19 when I got pregnant. Number 13, I love musicals like Hello Dolly and The Sound of Music and Mary Poppins and Pirates of Penzance and The Mikado, all of those kind of things. Although I don't really like the newer type stuff, like I'm not a huge fan of Glee or that high school musical thing. I like the old style musicals. Um, number 14, I loved school up until about year... 10 probably. Um, even then I still liked it but not as much. But I, I liked being at school. School was preferable to being anywhere else. I liked the routine. I liked learning things. I liked my teachers. I was lucky I got some brilliant teachers. So yeah, I really, really liked school. 
Number 15, I have a keloid scar on my shoulder, um, which I got when they removed a mole from my shoulder. Um, a keloid scar is where it doesn't kind of heal properly and it kind of gets all lumpy and disgusting looking. So I have one of those on my shoulder from having a mole removed. So if I ever got like murdered or killed in a disaster or something, they'd be able to identify me. You know, because like when you get your passport, they ask you any identifying scars or features. Like, yeah, I have a keloid scar on my right shoulder. So they are my 15 completely random facts, which I don't know if that was fun for anybody else, but there you go. Um, so thank you to Live From Within for tagging me. I will list some people in the description bar if I can think of anybody. If you want to do this, go ahead and do it. You don't have to be tagged, just do it anyway. Um, subscribe down there. Um, leave me a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. And leave me a comment. I try to respond to all comments that I get. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.